Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss some of the important technical points related to the civil engineering. So the first point states that the minimum number of parts in circular column. So what are the number of minimum parts in circular column? These are six. So the minimum number of parts in circular column are six. So if I draw here the circular column, let's suppose this is in a circular column. So the number of minimum bars in the circular column should be equal to six. We cannot provide five bars here, but the minimum bars should be equal to six. This is the first requirement for the circular column that the minimum longitudinal bars, they are they don't talk about the ties or the literal reinforcement, but the longitudinal bars, these bars, the main reinforcement in the circular columns should be equal to the six. These are the minimum number of bars. The second point states that the minimum number of bars in square column, if I draw here the square column, let's suppose this is in a square column. So the minimum number of bars in square column are four. So this is a square cross section column. So this, these are the four bars provided at each end. So minimum number of bars provided in a square column should be equal to four. They should not be less than the four. Now the third point states that the leaping length in compressor member. What is the length? First I should delete these points. So the third one states that the leaping length in the compressor member. So if I, so what should be the leaping length in the compressor member? It is equal to the 48 into D, where D is the diameter of the bar. So if I consider this is one, one steel bar and this is another steel bar, and they are overlap here. So what should be the leaping length for this compressor member if it is in column? Compressor member means the member that are subjected to compression. For example, the column is the footing. So if we provide the steel bar here, so the minimum this leaping length, this leaping length and compressor member should be equal to the 48 into D, where D is the diameter of the bar either this bar or either this bar. So if you put the diameter of the bar here in this formula 48 into D, you will get some value for example, here if you get 40 inches, this is just an example, so you should provide this leaping length equal to 40 inches. Now the next point is the leaping length in the tension member. So the leaping length in the tension member should be equal to the 60 into D, where D is again the diameter of the steel bar. So if I consider here the tension member, for example, the beam, so this is, in, let's consider any simply supported beam, and we have here ten, the reinforcement bar, here we have another reinforcement bar, and we want to overlap the steel bar, so this leaping length should be equal to the 60 into D, where D is the diameter of this steel bar, or either this steel bar. The next one is the maximum free fall of concrete. It means it is equal to 1.5 meter. And what does it mean? The maximum free fall of the concrete should be equal to 1.5 meter. It means if this is in my structure member and I want to construct this with concrete and I bring the concrete in the machine, for example, or in the truck, this is, for example, in a truck. So if I want to put this concrete from the concrete mixer or the concrete truck into this construction member so the height from which it will be fall so this height maximum allowed is 1.5 meter so it should be kept in mind that due to segregation problem due to the segregation of the concrete the maximum allowable free height for the concrete is 1.5 meter the next one is the tensile strength of the concrete what is the tensile strength of the concrete? The tensile strength of the concrete is 10% of the 
compressive strength of the concrete. Compressive strength. For example, we have compressive strength of the concrete equal to the 3000 psi. So what should be the tensile strength? Tensile strength should be equal to the 10% of this. 10% means 0 0.10 multiplying it with the 3000. So we got here 300 psi. So this will be the tensile strength for the concrete. Because we only take the 10% of its value because concrete is weak in tension it is only designed for the compression now the next the last point is the maximum chair spacing the chair the chair we use is a reinforcement just to provide the spacing for the top and bottom reinforcement for example this is my slave this is my slave so this is my one re reinforcement longitudinal and this is my another reinforcement transverse reinforcement and I provide the reinforcement also at the top so what we do here we provide here the chairs so what should be the maximum chair spacing it is recommended that the maximum chair spacing should be equal to the one meter we should not provide spacing greater than the one meter so this distance between the chair should be equal to the one meter so hope you guys understand these main points and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.